It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I should have said yes to Jinko sooner. I should have said yes to Jinko sooner. If I had, my mom would be okay. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I should have gotten the money sooner. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Director, how is she? Mom! Sir! 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 Zoyimon! Sir! Zoyimon! Your father! Sir! Zoyimon! Sir! Sir! Zoyimon! Please! Oh, sir! Daddy! Ching Chuan, why are you here? You're not off yet? I just finished surgery, came to see you. I brought you some stuff. If you get hungry at night, you need to keep up your strength. What is it? Well, Zhu Yimeng's mom is. She's gone. Gone. We did everything we could. But we failed. <sighs> That's our helplessness as doctors. We can't save our own loved ones. Don't be sad, Ouyang. Don't take it too hard. You're tired too. You should get some rest. Young, these days you've been way too tired. You need to rest and readjust. Let yourself cool down. Right now, you're too stressed. How am I overstressed? Can't you see how tired you've made yourself? That's the problem with you ER doctors. You care too much about life and death. That's not the attitude a doctor should have. A doctor should be rational. If you go on like this, your body and mind won't be able to take it. I'm really worried that something might happen Shen to you. Shen Jingchuan, what's wrong with you? You were admitted in the ER once. When you were sick, all of us did what we could to save your life. Yes, we're just that stupid. We care so much about life and death. But if we didn't, you would be dead. You know that's not what I meant. I'm just scared you'd collapse. All right. I'll take care of myself for once. I just want to be alone, just for now. The pain has subsided. What other meds should we add? What do you think? We could try this one or this one. It's actually cheaper. We should just consult the doctor after this, okay? Head nurse Lin. You can have this back now. Thank you, everybody. But my mom didn't end up needing it after all. She's resting in peace now. Go easy on yourself. Mom. Dad. Dad, are you okay? <sighs> Oh, were you able to give the money back? Yeah. You may not have used it before, but you'll need it for other things now. 
And your family has a modest income. Just keep it. No, 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 no. I really don't think I could do that. Uncle, just take it. It's our show of support. Mom, just take it. You see, everyone feels that way. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Zoe Among is just so lucky to have friends and colleagues who are as gracious as you are. No need to thank us. In times of trouble, everybody should help out, right? Zui Meng, just take it already. Thank you, Miss Lin. But then, I think you should give back the money from Zhao Chong's car. Oh no, it's car. okay. Just keep Zhao it. Zhao Chong, Miss Lin is right. I appreciate it, but I'll wire the money back to your card soon. It's okay. As for Dr. Wang's money, well, you guys take care of it. It's really none of our business. Dr. Wang? Dad, I'll talk to you about this later on. It's getting late. I've got to go back to my dorm and pack up. Uh, goodbye. All right, take care. Miss Lin, I'm heading off. Right. Meng Meng, what if I go back with you? Your dad looks kind of gloomy. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be back in a week. Just don't be so sad. You did your best. And I know everybody did their best too. Yeah, I'm sad, but... I understand what happened. Dr. Wong. Hey. Um, I brought you some stuff that you can eat on the road. If there's any problem, then just call us. You are not alone in all this. You've got us. All of us. And you've got to be strong, okay? <laughs> Dad, let's go. Xiao Chong, drive safely. Don't worry, I will. Dr. Ouyang, don't you think that after the flu, our room has become a lot bigger? <sighs> oh yeah, there's room now. If that's the case, can we bring the lady with cervix cancer over? By the time you think of something, dinner will be cold. I placed her under observation last night. <laughs> the mighty Dr. Ouyang, it looks like I have a lot more to learn from you. You still can't help but flatter me, can you? <laughs> if you want to learn something, you have to change this. Right. Mm -hmm. What in the world are you doing up so early? Were you supposed to go to sleep for a bit? Chief residents don't do rounds, you know. We don't have much help. I have to watch over you guys. Huh? Well, how responsible of you, huh? Didn't you say you were gonna... <laughs> oh, so you're saying that you're very powerful, is that it? You're just finding that out now. Huh? What are you guys talking about? I don't seem to get it. You shouldn't get it. Uh-huh. Sounds like a secret code. Like a secret code, huh? Mm -hmm. You know there's a story involved here, young lady. So the other day, Ouyang and I were in the conference room, and... And we just kept hitting each other like that and that and that. <laughs> and that's where the story comes from. <laughs> Come on. So that's when we said that with great power comes great uh -huh. responsibility. And that's the story. Does it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> During last night's shift, we accepted three patients. One critical, 15 released, five in observation, and one deceased. I've already sent you the data. All right, I've got it. That's all. End of the meeting, guys. Goodbye. I need that report. Sure.
Director Zeng. Su Yimeng. Why are you back so soon? Did you sort out everything? Everything's good, don't worry. It was my dad who made me come back to keep working, so I don't let you guys down after helping me a lot. Right. Sounds great. Hey, Mom. What are you doing back so soon? Yeah, didn't the director say you could take some time off? I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. I know how busy everyone is, and I just came back to help out a bit. Hey. What are you staring at? Go talk to her. What about? Go say hi or just say something, man. Fine. Thank you, everybody. Um. <clears throat> Dr. Wong. Hey, you're back. Mm, I'm back. Uh-huh. Wang. Hmm? Come here. Um, I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, 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 what? What's wrong with you? You made it official, didn't you? How come when you meet, you can't even talk to her, huh? But... But what should I be telling her? Hey, you are a grown man, Wangbo. Why are you acting like a little girl with a crush? Is she your first girlfriend? But of course not, and where's your girlfriend? Speak for yourself. Whoa, 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 we're talking about you. You can leave me out of this one. What in the world are you thinking, huh? That you can just go on being awkward like this forever? Is that it? Huh? He feels awkward, and so do you. What are you gonna do? I mean, you know you can't go on like this. Then what do you guys think I should do? Well, uh, since you already accepted him, go talk to him. Why should she take the initiative? What else can she do? Oh. There's an article in here about different types of men. If we know what type Dr. Wang is, then we'll know what to do, am I right? Mm. Let's see. The five elements of men. There are five types of men that you should look out for. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. Well, that's interesting. Never heard of it. What type am I? Water type. His keywords are wise and kind. His wisdom will allow him to see everything correctly most of the time. <laughs> Well, it sounds like me. Are you that shameless? It does sound like me. Keep reading. A water type man to all his friends, colleagues, family, and even to complete strangers. He treats them all very kindly and generously. That's exactly me. Oh, wait, this is important. He can be said to be the ideal boyfriend and husband. He is sociable and a great cook. This is an exact description of me. This is making me really sick. It's safe to say you're a great cook, but that's about it. Besides, we're talking about Dr. Wang here. Let's see which one he's like. I think he's this one. Metal type. He has a persona as tough as steel. Does it sound like him? <laughs> he is pretty tough. Steel type men have a nobility like precious metal, but of course he may just think so in his own head. <laughs> this is him for sure! Have you ever noticed how he looks at people sideways? Yeah, like this. Hey, hey you. Don't be mean. Now we finally know which type he is. We can see how to deal with him. To a metal type man, you can't show weakness. You have to match his toughness, mm -hmm. his pride, and his nobility. Make him think that you're at the same level as him, if not higher, which is really the only way to continue a relationship with him. Mm. So you can't let him look down on you, all right? I understand. Matching his toughness, you have to push against him. But matching his... Nobility, does that mean that I should do this too? No, no, no. Noble just means you let him know that you don't take things lightly. You may have accepted mm. his offer, but you can't just settle it like that. There has to be a formal expression. Expression? He, he already expressed it. That time doesn't count. You stay out of this. Listen to me, and you'll be fine. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, Jin Kwan, your mother-in-law's here. Don't joke around. Are you serious? Please, it's not funny. Who's got time to joke around? Your mother-in-law, she's here. Where? She's at the lobby. If you're lying, you're dead. Shh. 
Auntie. Oh, Ching Xuan. Well, what brings you here, Auntie? Is it Luyang? Why would I? Whenever I do, she pushes me away. Says she's really busy. She doesn't have time for her mother. Yeah, she's really busy with work right now. Oh, then tell me, what does she do all day? She doesn't bother with us. You spend much more time with me than she does. Xing Xuan, you are her boyfriend. You should find a time and go talk to her. Get her to leave the ER department. I've already tried, Auntie. I had barely got into it, and she was already mad. I think she still hasn't calmed down. <laughs> Maybe in a few days when she seems a bit better, I'll try again. <sighs> if you two continue to go on like this, when will you ever get married? Uh... <laughs> Now that she's chief resident, I'll be lucky if I see her once a day. <sighs> How is that even a relationship? Xing Xuan, listen to me. At times like these, you should take the initiative. You're the man here. Mm. Find a time to take her out for dinner, or shopping, or to see a movie. That's what's called dating. Um, now that she's chief resident, she can't leave the hospital. But you can't go on like this. You have to think of something. Okay. I guess I'll come up with something. So you will. Really think about it? How could I ever lie to you, Auntie? Okay, then. If anything happens, just let me know. Mm. Oh, you get back to it. I'll be off now. I'll take you. Okay. Oh. Hey, wait. Don't even hesitate. Show her how brave you are. Go in and tell her, hey, I want to take you to dinner. Then take her by the hand. Mon, let's have dinner. Okay, when? Oh. <laughs> Come on, me too, man. Me too. Are you really that nervous? You actually asked the wrong person. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough jokes in Dr. Wang, guys. That's enough. Stop laughing. So, where is Mon? Zhu Yi Mon, I hid her. You hid her? What? That's mean. Dr. Chang, don't worry about that. Huh? I show Chen and I are acting like in laws to him. If Dr. Wang wants to be with her, he has to get past us first. There's no point in disapproving. <laughs> oh, I didn't say I disapproved. I am one of her in-laws, too. So, <laughs> what do we do to him? Hey, hey, side hey oh, I'm on the winning side, man, so I really can't help you there. Hey, we're not going to ask for much. We just want you to profess your love to her once again. Uh-huh. <laughs> profess my love? You don't want to? Maybe he's traumatized. From the last time this happened to him. <laughs> well, you thought okay, you were on my okay, side. Okay. Hey, you come here. Dr. Wang, we really aren't asking for much. Do you know how important this is to a girl? She'll always remember it. And we'll think about it all the time. It'll make her feel really happy. And you won't take away her chance to be finally happy, will you? Uh, face to face? Yes. Are you too shy? Well, if you're really shy, you could say it to me. And then I'll tell her oh. for you. Huh? To you? So what? What's wrong with me? Uh, I'm already prepared. Go ahead. Say you love me. Uh, 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 <laughs> I think I would just rather say it to her instead. You... What's wrong with me? Come on, tell me you love me. I mean, I know you won't mean me. Just pretend I'm Zhu Yi Meng. Well, that would be really hard to do. How about I just... I say it to Zhao Chong. I think oh. saying it to him will be easier than to... to you. Dr. Wang, you are mean. You're on your own. You'd better think of something good, something romantic. If she's not satisfied, don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, <laughs> now look what you've done. You made her mad. Just go through the process and profess your love again. Buy some flowers, lots of them, 99 roses. Then find a classy Western restaurant. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Dr. Chang, now I know why you liked Ouyang for two years, but ended up failing miserably. What do you mean by that? You're cliched, tasteless and boring. That wouldn't make her feel special. Now look at Dr. Shen, that- I'm telling you, Zhao! Don't scare him. He's better than you. <gasps> Didn't you say you're a writer? Well, think of something really romantic. The keys to create a romantic atmosphere so that she wants to say yes to your love already. Right away. Hmm. 
Meng Meng, you've changed your clothes like 650 times already. Just wear whatever. Can't you think about my feelings right now? I'm still single. Well, I don't know what to wear. This one? Which one's better? The one you're wearing, that one! This one? Mm-hmm. Let's meet on the roof tonight. What? Why up there? That's so cliché, totally unoriginal, but at least it's cute. Okay, that's really enough. That's enough! Go on, go, 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 quick, just go now, go on! Stop stalling, come on, go, go already! Hey, what happened? Why is Bamang dressed like that? You want to know? Follow me. Uh, I'm on duty right now. Get him to watch. Take over for a bit. Okay, okay. Uh, Don't tell wait for me. <sighs> Where'd she go? Upstairs. Upstairs? To where? To the roof. Are you coming? <clears throat> Dr. Wong? Over here! Where are you, Dr. Wong? Just keep walking and you will see me eventually. time you need this much lifting, you can do it yourself. Sorry, ma'am. Wrong, wrong. What is it? Hey, come to the roof right now. Did I do something wrong? I'm giving you exactly 30 seconds. Shh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, can you watch huh? for me? Wrong, wrong needs me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hey, what is it? Take a look. Wow, that's pretty romantic.
Hey, next time I profess my love, I'm gonna want something even better than this one. I thought it's over with though, y'all. Are you still hoping? What are you talking about? I can't love anyone else? Is that what you're saying? Okay, more romance. Why do y'all come to me for this, huh? An evil man's always That's busy. That's not cool. I give you my ideas and I'm still single. Shh. We should get going. <laughs> I'm on that too. For a while, I thought I did something wrong. So that's what it was. Okay, I'll give you an even bigger surprise. Really? <laughs> well, haven't I kept surprising you? Have I ever <laughs> let you down? <laughs> that's better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going? I can't watch. I'm just getting sad. <laughs> well, guess what? You and Xiao Chong should hook up. That'd be great. <laughs> Never! <laughs> What is it? Is it me? Not at all. I just happened to be standing here. It was a coincidence. Coincidence? If that's the case, then let's go. for then what else do you have give it to me too <laughs> wrong wrong how can you be like that <laughs> I, I was just joking around and now are you really crying I, i'm really sorry about that don't cry don't cry please stop i'm sorry why didn't you tell me anything Weren't you busy? You would say I was just goofing around. What do I care if it's after work? And besides, we're their colleagues. Don't you think we should do something for them? Why should we do something? They should be the ones doing something. I mean, like, after they get here, then we'll stand in line and have them bow to each of us like a wedding. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> okay, don't overdo it. This is the ER. There's tons of people here. Who cares? It's a happy occasion. <laughs> when the patients see, they'll feel happy. Then they'll get better soon. What logic is that? <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah, I know. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Where are your glasses, huh? Contacts? Ooh. Wang Bo took them, didn't he? So you can't look at other guys? <laughs> I only have eyes for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so perfect. You know, we were just talking about your grand wedding. Don't listen to him. Congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Ouyang. That's it? Thanks, Dr. Chung. Ah. Thanks, Xiao Chan. Thanks, Xiao Chong. <laughs> are you satisfied now? Wait, hold on. I think you're missing something. Don't move. I've got it. Just wait a second. What are you up to here now? Here it is. Here, here, here. Just take it. We're going to take a photo, so just hold these up like this, all right? Hold it up and don't move, understand? All right. Now look this way <gasps> so I can take the shot. Be sure to smile because this will be at your wedding, all right? What? <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> smile. Okay, one more. One Come more. on, just one more. Here, one more. Smile. smile. Uh, okay, one more time. Look over here. Uh, smile. Wait, wait. All uh, right, that's great. <laughs> hey, don't overdo it. <laughs> okay, okay, leave us alone. Let's go check the rooms, Dr. Wang. Hey, Mom, you're still calling him Dr. Wang? We have decided that while we're inside the hospital, I'll still call him Dr. Wang. I'll always be your Dr. Wang. <laughs> 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 Look at Oh Young now. The glacier has melted, but with you, you were like water. Am I right? You're cold as ice. Cheng Chen, give him some more work, all right? He keeps messing with us. Time to pull your own weight. Was that necessary? Well, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh Young, you got a minute? I want to talk to you. Let's talk after work. I have to do my rounds. Ai Chan? Hey. What's with you guys? 
I asked her to leave ER, and she got pissed. What do you mean she's leaving? Didn't she say she wouldn't go? She works so hard all day, and if she keeps this up, she'll collapse. And now, with each passing day, she spends more time with you than she does with me. Do you have any time for dating? What, are you... jealous? Am I like that? Sure looks like it. Making fun of me, huh? Not am I that kind of man. Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some ideas. How can I be romantic to her? Really sweet. Here in the hospital. Xiao Chong, huh? it's your job. Why is this always my job? It's tough work, you know. Here's the plan. Dr. Wang, are you going home? I'm just about to. <laughs> if you meet my parents now, won't it be a little too early? Well, I just want to give them the money back. Oh. Uh, but... What, you don't want me to go? I do. Yes, of course, I want you to meet them. But my family isn't well off. I'm worried what you'll think of them. Do you think I care about that? No, of course you don't. Sorry, my mistake. Sure, the ugly wife has to meet her in-laws eventually. Hey, who are you calling ugly? You're <laughs> ugly. But you're not ugly, you're pretty. Look at those legs. Are you off duty? Hmm. Will you kindly have dinner with me? Don't worry. We won't leave the hospital. We'll eat at the cafeteria. And I won't mention about leaving ER. All right. Let's go. I want to apologize. I shouldn't have forced my opinion on you like that. As long as you know. I'm just worried about your health. I've got my own health in check. Don't worry. To tell the truth, I'm worried about this more these days. Now, it's hard for us to meet even once a day. If we do, we talk about work. Otherwise, I just tell you, you've got to eat well. You say, okay, and I say, you've got to sleep well. You say, no problem, and I say, don't tire yourself out. You say, it's under control. Does this seem like a relationship to you, Ouyang? Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do. What can we do? Let's watch a movie. Sounds good? Watch a movie? I can't even leave the door. How can we? You mean here? Yes. Please, Miss Ouyang, have a seat. <laughs> hey, you did a good job. Cheng Jin got those for me. And popcorn, too? He probably got that, too. Can we watch this here? Cheng Jin says he told everyone else not to bother our special movie date for a while. You invited me here. Why did Cheng Jin do all the work? He was willing to. And the idea was Cheng Jun's, too? No way it wasn't. ER's got quite a bit of talent. It was Zhao Chong's idea. So you mean you didn't do anything? I commissioned it. I told them, romantic, a movie, and so here we are now. Zhao so Chong, I can see, but why Cheng Jun? And why not? He's pretty open-minded to help you out with all of this. All right, enough. It's just the two of us now. Can we focus on that? Okay. Please take off your coat. My coat? But why? Have you seen anyone wear that to a movie? <laughs> yes, you're right. Me too. I guess no one does. There's nothing really good lately, so I decided on a classic film, The English Patient. Don't I get enough patience? <laughs> Thank you. 
Dr. Chung. Yeah? Feeling a little down? Not really. Dr. Oh Young and Dr. Shen are together, and you're helping them. Don't you feel kind of agitated inside? I really don't. You don't? You must just not give a damn. <laughs> What's that mean? Let me tell you. When you reach my age, you'll understand it a lot better. A man has to be able to let go, am I right? Sure, I used to like Dr. Ouyang, but now she's a friend to me, understand? If she's happy, I'm happy. Simple as that. Are you for real? Of course I am. Take my word. Incredible. Sorry, I was too tired. I fell asleep. It's okay. Sleep. Don't laugh, please. My mom picked the name. I want her to change it, but she won't. Don't. It's a really great name. It shows how she loves you. <sighs> Let's go in, then. Am I okay like this? Why not? If you're not okay, then no one in the world is. Let's go. Come on. Mom. Huh? Son, <sighs> what are you doing back? I, I brought someone with me. This oh. is my girlfriend, Zoe Mom. Hello, Aunt. Uh, hello, my dear. Thank you. Uh, well, you're enough. Why bring a present with you? <laughs> honey! Honey, come down here. Wongbo brought his girlfriend. What girlfriend? Dad. <laughs> hello, Uncle. Hi. She's so pretty, isn't she? <laughs> and you? Why didn't you say something? We didn't prepare. Ah, Ma, but Mung doesn't really care about all that, right? Please don't worry about it, Aunt and Uncle. You both actually remind me of my family. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good to hear. Come in, come in. Come this way. Oh, here, here, come, come on, come on. Come inside. Let's go. Watch your step. Come in. Step inside. Huh? Come inside. Huh? Come in. Huh? Oh, uh, Aunt, uh, uh, what's uh, wrong? Uh, Is your uh, back sore? Yes. Uh, yeah. Longbo was sick when he was young, so I always carried him to the hospital. After a She's while, I started getting these back pains. Have a seat. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> Here you go, Aunt. I'll give you a massage. No, it's all no, right. No, it's not a big deal. I'd uh, love to. Uh, Is it here? Yes, that's it. Son. <laughs> huh? She's a keeper. I've got good taste, don't I, Dad, huh? Son, why does she call you Old Wang? Huh? What else? Little Bo? That sounds terrible. Okay. Then Old Wang, I guess. Oh, if you're old Wang, I must be old, old Wang. <laughs> so what's for dinner? You didn't tell us. We didn't prepare. How about I go buy something from Hutong? Huh? I'll be right All back. All right. Thanks, Dad. Meng, I want you to have dinner with us. Oh, okay, Great. Uncle. That's thank good. you. <sighs> Massage, Pour huh? Pour her some tea. Go on now. <laughs> Here. <sighs> Hello, it's so young. I'll be right there. What is it? Something happened. I have to go. Go ahead. A mountain the shape of a woman's back. Good, good.
Love forever. 